Okay, so I was gonna record some Peggle behind this, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, basically, many people know the start of this year I was basically non-existent on YouTube, and pretty much since then I have been very sporadic with my upload. Well, sporadic to say the least. Uh, but I've been very like not actively uploading a lot of stuff. Um, basically, like I said, start this year, actually the end of last year, Boxing Day to be exact, was when it all really kicked in. Um, I got ill, I had big problems with my stomach, I was in a lot of pain, I was in bed, um, I could barely eat, um, like, I missed two months of college because of it, and so... As as with many people, it it got me down. It got me down. I, I was really quite pissed at missing two months of college um, because I knew I had a lot of work to catch up on, and I've missed a lot of stuff. Uh, but that wasn't the only thing. It, this this is something I'm not really talking spoken about to many people because I'm not a person that's good at talking about my feelings. I guess I tend to keep them to myself. And I would just portray, like, a happy person. Yay, I'm happy. Ah, I can hide my emotions quite well. Um, like, you probably tell from my videos, I generally sound quite happy. I I'm pretty good at hiding my emotions. Like, you wouldn't know it from my older videos if you watch them. But I actually finally spoke up about it um, after Asian. But basically, Asian was the one that helped me a lot. Um... Because I like spoke to her about it because I trust her. She's a good friend. She's like my best friend. Um, but I, I finally spoke up about it and I went to the doctors because basically it turns out I have depression pretty much. Um, when I look back at it now, I can see that really like the symptoms have been there for years, like since school time. Like, they've been there for a long time, and I've just been dealing with it as if normal. Like, I was unmotivated to do stuff, um, and basically, like, a lot, a lot of time I, could, I keep myself under control, I keep my emotions and everything in check, like, I, that wasn't a problem, but, I don't know, I just, like, felt down all the time, I didn't really feel like doing anything, like, my schoolwork suffered, my, like, my attendance in school was horrible, like, and I, because I just didn't feel like going to school, like, at school, I got bullied, it, I hated it so much if, if any time I could avoid going to school I would avoid it because like I say I got bullied my, my last year of school year 11 in England like that's one of the most important years that's when you take all of your GCSE exams um, my attendance in year 11 this is something I've said quite a bit to my friends my attendance in year 11 was 25% I took an entire term off just because I didn't feel like going in I just didn't want to go to school anymore like I felt like that for years. I just haven't wanted to go to school. There's nothing there that interested me. When I go there, I got bullied. It got to the point where I felt like the entire school was like talking about me behind my back, saying things about me behind my back. Um, so I ended up getting really quite paranoid, um, incredibly self-conscious because I'm not a small person at all. Um, I'm quite large, if, if I'm honest. Um, so I got really paranoid, incredibly self-conscious, and basically, I have no self-confidence in myself. I, I don't believe in myself, really, in doing a lot of things. Um, so, really, like I say, over the years, like it's been, I, I'm 20 now, I'm 21, like, 28 days from now, the 20th of September, that is when my birthday is. I'm 21 then. Um, I left school when I was 16. And, yeah, I left school when I was 16 and I've been in college for the last four years. And even through college, people are more mature at college. Like, you, you, you can go in school, like, you'll get insults and everything thrown around. Like, I, I'm, I did, plenty of people did, um, except me. Though I didn't show it, it really got to me. It really did. Uh, I was, like I say, I'm good at keeping my emotions in check. I can hide my emotions. So when I get pissed off, I can keep a straight I can keep a straight face really well. Um, without people realising I'm actually getting really pissed off. Um, so, 
when I was in school, um, well, what, wait, what was I saying? But yeah, when you go to college, people are more mature. They're like they're people there that want to be there. Um, so, like, um, it wasn't as bad, but it still left like a mental imprint on me about not wanting to go. Like, I was doing stuff I wanted to do. I did, like, my first year of college, I did level two mechanical engineering. Um, my second year, I did level two IT. And my third and fourth year, I did level one and two, uh, motor vehicle. Like, that was a technician course. So, it was stuff I wanted to do, but I had no motivation to do it. Um, and like I say, uh, generally, I was sort of keeping it in check myself. I was, like, to me, it was just average. It was normal. I didn't really understand that there was a problem there. Uh, but when I got ill, that's when that's when things went down. Because I was basically... I, I couldn't do much at all. Um, I, I was just stuck, basically, in my own mind. With my own mind. Just like, like, dealing with stuff in my own mind, basically. And that, that's, like I say, that's when things got to me. That's when things really got bad. Like, I lost all motivation to do everything. Like, absolutely everything. I couldn't care, at that point, I couldn't care less about college. Um, I didn't upload stuff to YouTube. I didn't really speak to my friends a lot. Um, I just didn't want to do anything. And I started getting really really bad mood swings like they were really bad I'd go from a happy one minute sad the next pissed off after that and then back to laughing and joking again in the space of five minutes and I, you know I, I didn't know what was going on I was scared I'm not gonna lie I was scared I didn't know what was going on and so I like went online I looked up about it I spoke to uh, Asian about it and I came to terms with, I finally understood, I might actually have depression at this point. Which, I was shocked about really, I, I didn't expect it. So, went to the doctors, told the doctor, and the doctor was like, yeah, it sounds like you have depression. I was like, well, what do I do? She, like, I got offered the chance of going to counselling for it, or taking tablets. And as I've said earlier, I am not a person that can really talk about myself very much. Like this, me recording this, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this at this point. This is hard for me just to be completely open like this. Um, but because of that, I chose to take tablets. So since um, probably about five months ago, I've, I've been taking antidepressants because, you know... Uh, that's what I chose, and so like they they they've like the mood swings they they've cut the mood swings. Um, motivation that's still that's still way waning really. Like I want to get back into YouTube. I really want to get back into YouTube. I enjoy doing it. It's just <laughs> it's like it, there's there's more to YouTube than just making videos and then uploading them. There's a lot more than that. Like you got a, the the shortest bit making videos for YouTube is recording the videos that's the shortest bit after that you have to go through the long process the long tedious process it's really tedious of editing videos and depending on how much or how little you do it can take a varying amount of time um, like I will record maybe two three four five hours at a time and I will edit a lot in one go uh, when I say, I say edit, I don't really do much in a way of editing. I will level out the audio, uh, try and balance it. So if I'm in a call with someone else, like Asian, which is most, of, which all the time really, um, like we be we heard e equally, um, and like adjusting like sizes so it fills the window properly, and then splitting it up into like 15 minute or whatever segments. Then that that can take me a while because I get sidetracked really easily. Like it's it's no joke. Like. I've had videos sitting on my YouTube channel uploaded since um, probably February and every day I keep saying right I'll make the thumbnails for these and I'll upload these to or I'll publish these today and I just get sidetracked from doing it and it just never happens um, so 
I, like I'm, I'm doing my best to get back into recording. I, I've recently I did some recording again with Asian, so like the first bit of that's gone up on her channel already. Uh, so I'm trying to get back into it. It's just once like you lose motivation, it gets to you, like, and you just don't feel like unless it's like unless you've experienced it, you can't quite understand what it's like. Um. You just don't feel like doing anything. Like even even now, I don't really go out. I don't really leave my house. Um, that's not so much from the depression. Like I I I, I never really feel like going out because I've always said, why go out without purpose? What was the point? Just going out for no reason. I've got better things I can be doing indoors. Um, but there's also the fact that I don't like being in big groups of people. I don't like being in public. I hate that. I feel like when I go out in public, I feel like everyone is watching me. Like everyone's looking at me and judging me, making judgments based upon how I look. So, that's, um... If I can avoid going out, I will, really. Which, saying that, I do plan, like, I, I recently read Minecon is meant to be coming to London next year, and I want to go to that, so... Like, for me to do that, I've got to try and overcome this, because there's going to be loads of people there. There's going to be thousands there. So I've got to try and overcome this for myself. Um, like, that's one of the reasons why I started to do YouTube, was because, like, I had no self I had no confidence in myself. And I figured, I, I, gen I can't talk to strangers. If I talk to strangers, I go silent, I turn mute. And I figured, well, if I make YouTube videos and I make commentary on my YouTube videos, maybe that'll help with my my, my self confidence. And do you know what? It, ha it has. I, I can talk to people more readily now without too much of a problem. Um. So. Yeah, y you know. Like, I I enjoy talking to people on YouTube, and and, and I I do enjoy talking to people. I just find it hard sometimes. As like with, with the comments and stuff and videos, I read all the comments that get left, or I do my best. Like every time I get a notification for a comment, I will go and read it, and I will reply to it most of the time. Um, it's one of the reasons why, like, I I, I have got forums set up. Um, not many people are joined up there at the moment, but I have got forums set up, and it's a way that I can communicate directly with people that follow me and like find me entertaining. Because I can't put on an entertaining persona when I'm recording videos. Like, it doesn't show that I have this going on with me at the moment. I, I can, like, hide it away quite well. Because it's just how I, like, how I'm built, basically. It's just how my mind works. I try and hide my emotions from other people. Except for the people that I, like, really 100% can trust. And there's only a few people in this world that I can trust that much. I can count them on one hand. Like, I don't trust many people. Or I don't completely trust many people. So, there's only some people that I will actually talk to about how I'm feeling. Because, for me, it's weird. If, if To me, if I feel like this, I'm being open, open like this. To me, it feels like it's sort of a weakness type thing. Like, if I'm open with people and I'm honest with how I feel they will take advantage of that. Which, I know a lot of people won't, but a lot of people will. So, I have, like, almost like two personalities. I have a personality that people I really trust see, and then I have my other personality that everyone else sees. And really, that's the personality you see on YouTube. Like, this is the personality now that I would people would only see that I trust when I'm being 100% open and honest. Um, so, I felt like the people that's stuck by me on YouTube, like I'm sitting at 2,100 subscribers, and I thank you so much for that. It means a lot. Um, I felt like I should explain to, um, uh, to my subscribers why I've just not been that active since the start of this year, and that, that's that's the reason, you know. Um, 
it's just how I've been, I guess. It's I, I've just been trying to uh, to to learn to live in my own mind type deal. Which when, when you think you have yourself figured out, and all of a sudden you don't. There's something going on, and you don't know what it is. It's scary. It really is scary. It messes with you. So, yeah. Like, it, people that have depression, I understand where you're coming from. I know what it's like. And I know, like, what's... Like, e e even though you may not think of it, watching people on YouTube that cheer you up, they they help a lot. Because they take your mind off things. They they distract you from what's going on in your own mind. They make you happy. They make you laugh. They make you smile. And I do like entertaining people, which is one of the reasons why I I, I make the videos I do. Um, because maybe if like even if my even if it only helps one person, that's one person in the world that I've made happier. Like I've done some good there. Because I know watching people on YouTube, it helped me. It, it helped me. They, they kept me entertained through the dark times. They kept me happy. They kept me smiling. Like, yeah. This isn't a video I'll make often. Like, if, like I said, this might not even get uploaded. I don't know yet. But, this is me being 100% honest and open which doesn't often happen with people I don't know so thanks for watching um, I, I really don't know how to end this one I have no idea how to end this one just because of what it is so yeah thanks for watching um, that's all I can really say thanks for watching